First of all, I want to dedicate our class to a very sweet baby named Christian. So place him in your heart. It'll be a perfect class for you to send energy out to this little baby boy who needs love. And I think, uh, as we all know, there's nothing more important than love. Um, he is a friend of yours, a friend of Dana's, who um, is fighting for his life. So we're going to do a lot of pushing that energy. His name is Christian. So I want you to imagine this. I'm going to do a little um, pull together of how you were born. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm going to tell you how you were born. This is what happened, okay? <laughs> You're scared right now, aren't you? <laughs> so your mom and your dad, they find you in a field, right? They've prayed for you. They've wanted you. They know that you're going to be somebody extraordinary. And so they find you in this field, in this soil. And they scoop you up because they know <laughs> that you are theirs. And they bring you home. And as a baby, you begin to heal the world. From the minute you're born, you begin to see if an animal is in pain or if part of nature is in pain or a person is in pain and you automatically know what weed <laughs> you have to go and grab to heal them you know me and weeds right weeds are the medicine of the universe and when you grow everything about you is love everything about you is for the benefit of mankind this is from the moment you were born and this might not sound like your story, but it still is. So stay with me. Um, so as you grow older, you meet uh, the energy that you know has completed you. And it doesn't mean that you're not complete without it. But as we understand in our yogic teachings that it is always the masculine and the feminine that are never separated. Right. It's always that essence of what holds the space that the universe and what animates the universe. They're always one. And when they're separated, that there's a lot of pain and suffering. Right. So you meet Ram or whoever is your Ram. And you then begin to realize that you are going to rule the kingdom. You'll, you have a very important job to do. Right. But instead of ruling the kingdom, you realize that because your job in the world is to be in service of humanity, instead you exile yourself into the forest so that you can help to relieve the pain and suffering of a demon, of someone who is suffering greatly. And you bring yourself to the woods and you have yourself completely um, captured so that you can be in this place of being held capture so that Ram, who is again, your husband, who is this count consort of you, this love of the universe of God is gonna come and help to destroy this demon, but you have to have yourself captured so that you're the one who brings Ram to help to relieve this demon who needs to be let go of his suffering. And then you are, this is, you get, this is your story it still sounds familiar, right? <laughs> and then you come back to the kingdom and then you have children and decide you don't want to raise your children in the kingdom. So you exile yourself back into the forest because you want yourself to raise these boys by picking up dandelions and knowing that they are the healing elixir of the liver. And you want them to pick up the sunshine and know that it's the sun that you are even greater than the sun, which is amazing, right? The power that you hold is as great, if not greater than the sun. You want your children to learn this and that everything that happens to you in your life is your doing. You chose to do this for the greater of humanity and the greater of yourself. That's your story. And even if there's a lot of pain and suffering in your story, it's still your story because you've come to change the world. You've come to bring the world to a higher elevation. And though this is a story of Sita, it is a story of each and every one of us. And I'll just tell you a very funny story. I've been Sita infused for the last couple of weeks. And I'm, I, I can't even say for those of you to, that don't quite know the story of, of Sita. It may be a little bit dramatic what I'm going to say, but she, this story has changed me. 
very dramatically, even crying a little. And so a funny story is I was just telling Veronica, um, I went to fill out this little contact me application online because before COVID had started, we had um, signed up to do this incredible retreat at Blueberry Point, which is in New Milford. It's a stunning place in New Milford. You can't even believe it's in, it's like 20 minutes from here. And it's where I did my Green Witch, my Green Witch initiation. And uh, so I signed up before COVID. So I went to write them a little message saying, hey, are you opening up again this year? And in the field, it says, write your first name. I wrote Cheryl because that's, you know, my first name. <laughs> and so I filled out all the other fields and it said that my first name was wrong. You know, please fill out the, the correct. So I did every way I could write Cheryl, you know, with capitals, with whatever. Nothing would happen. So instead, just for fun, I wrote Uma, which is the name I gave myself instead of grandmother for my, my grandkids because it's a, a name of Parvati, which is my son's good name. Didn't work. And then just for the freaking fun of it, I wrote Sita. Went right the damn through. Wow. So bring your hands together at your heart center. You can be anybody you want to be, but be love. You could act in this world any way you want to act, but be love. You are born of love. You are born of the earth. And you're meant to elevate. And every being, every animal, every piece of nature is your teacher, is your guide, is your lover. Inhale for the sound of Om, deep breath in. Oh. Ram, Ram, Sita, Ram. Release your hands and open your eyes. Come onto your hands and knees, please. And press back to child's pose, releasing your hips back to your heels. Spread your toes, spread your fingers. Breathe deep into this body. As we call Christian so dear as the offering of love. Let your back body feel a little more full than usual by pulling the rib cage up. And then letting the heart soften down. And then walk your upper body to the right side of your mat. and walk your upper body to the left side of the mat. Come back to center, come on up to your hands and knees, flow with your breath, cat cow. Move your spine forward, move your spine back. Keeping those arms nice and straight, spine nice and long. All beings will suffer. All babies, all animals. And then press back, downward facing dog.
enter in from love, exit from love. And settle into the depth of your breath here, letting your exhales grow a little longer. Noticing where your body is speaking just a little bit louder. And then let your ears just listen, your inner listening a little deeper. And then roll forward to plank pose, lower all the way down to your belly and rise up into that intoxicated cobra as you lift up head, neck and chest. Just let your body go left and right and left and right, letting the shoulders and the hips move. And then pressing back, downward facing dog. Inhaling that right leg back and up behind you, down dog split. Lifting up onto the left tippy toes, so coming as high as you can. And then keeping the right leg where it is lower, the left heel down with beauty, with love, with kindness, with respect. Stepping your right foot forward. Inhale the arms to the sky, a nice high lunge, keeping the back heel lifted. Interlace your palms here. Press your palms in front of you forward. And then bend your back knee, tuck your chin into your chest and curl your rib cage in. Good, now as you start to straighten your back leg, bring your arms up to the sky and get taller. And do that one more time, bend your back knee, take your arms forward, curl your rib cage in, and then reach your arms all the way up, straightening that back leg. Then let your arms float open, take your elbows wide, lean back, throat back, beautiful. Clasp your hands behind your back and bow forward. Let your hands float to the floor, step back, downward facing dog. Roll forward to plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Rise up into that intoxicated cold, remove the spine, move the shoulders. Feel yourself just move with the flow of your body today. Downward facing dog, really sweet everybody. Left leg back and up behind you, down dog split. Reach up onto the tippy toes of your right foot, keeping the left leg where it is, lower the right heel. Stepping the left foot forward, high lunge. Interlock your palms, press straight up. Feel the power and elongation that moves through the armpits as you do this. And then reach the arms forward, curl your chin to your chest, bend your back knee. I call it becoming crooked. You just come out of that full pose and then become so alive in it as you reach up and straight and beautiful, everybody. Do that one more time, reach forward, become crooked. And then press into it, rise up. Then let the arms just explode out to the side. Take a breath into the back of your heart. Clasp your hands behind your back and bow forward. Beautiful Kathy, beautiful Kim Nancy. Drop your hands to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank. Lower your right knee down to the mat underneath your hip. Slide it forward a little bit. Lower your left heel down to the mat. Take your left arm to the sky. Good, now bend that left elbow, pull back. Pull your throat back and open up. Beautiful, Susan. Nice rise. And then touch down hand to the floor, plank pose. Dropping your left knee underneath your hip, your right heel down, arm to the sky. 
bend the elbow, pull it back, lean back, do not pop your ribs forward, keep that intensity of the navel pulling in. And when I say intensity, I mean strength, power, courage. Drop the hand down to the floor, downward facing dog. Inhale that right leg back and up behind you. Step your right foot forward, bring both hands inside your right foot. And let's do little hip circles here. Beautiful. Yeah, you got it. Circle those hips, nice Anna. Circle those hips. Breathe into that space. What are we holding on to? What are we clinging on to? Not even holding. We're like, don't take that away from me, even though it really sucks. <laughs> it hurts me. Not good for me. Don't take it. Right, the familiar. Good. Come to that center place. Take your right arm to the sky. Make sure that knee is not passing that ankle here. And then bend that right elbow. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull that right foot still forward. You got it. Pull back. Good. Now lean back. Pull that low belly away from that thigh. Yes. As much as you can. Squeeze back. Yes. Then touch down. Walk to your left until you come to the center of your mat. Turn, turn, turn. Beautiful. Shins hug in. Drop the mind. Drop the mind. So many of you want to hold on to your mind. Why? Beyond the mind is a field, Rumi says. Go there, I'll find you there, and we'll make magic. But if you bring your mind, we can't do it. Good, inhale your right arm to the sky. Gorgeous, press your inner left thigh more to the left. Breathe into your left rib cage just for fun because you're squeezing it, your left kidneys. Take your right hand down to the floor, change sides. Release your hand down, walk yourself back to the front of the mat, plank pose. Either come down to rest in child's pose or take it through your vinyasa, whatever that looks like. <laughs> nice, Andra. <laughs> she did a little lion's breath right to the camera. <laughs> All right. We'll take a rest in a moment. Let's take uh, the left leg. Did we do it back and up first? Yeah, back and up, down dog split. Maybe, who knows? Step the left foot forward, bring both hands inside. And do your hip circles here. And take those circles in the opposite direction. Good. And then taking that left arm up to the sky, bend the elbow, draw back, pull back, scoop that low belly. Even if you have to tuck your chin in and curl into pull back, uh, leaning on the wrong side. Good. And then as that left hand touches down, walk to your right till you come to the center of your mat. Bow, bow, bow. Deep breathing here. This time sweep your left hand to your outer right ankle, left hand to outer right ankle, right arm to the sky, 
Same twist, just with a little resistance in the shin. Pull the inner thighs wide and apart. And then try the other side. Pull that shoulder closer to your ear, Lisa. Yeah, throat back. Nice, Nancy. Touch down. Step to the front of your mat and take it through your vinyasa or none. We are going to meet in child's pose. It's very interesting in green medicine when you want to get the essence. It's called gathering the flower essence. And what you're doing is you are taking what is the vital medicine of the plant and you're ingesting it. And one of the ways to do that is to, on a very sunny day, decide what plant it is that you're going to work with. Maybe during this time of the year, dandelion is really, really powerful to heal our liver. And so maybe you first go and ask a plant, which seems so silly, but it is a conversation. It's not a transaction. So you come and you ask the plant, can I, can I cultivate some of your medicine? And you wait just for a moment. And honestly, if you hear or feel a no is the answer, you're not crazy. I heard a story one time about a woman who heard the plant saying no, and she didn't listen. She took it anyway, and then found out later that the plant had been heavily um, fertilized. Mm -hmm. And the plant was actually telling her, don't take me, I have poison on me. So that kind of a understanding of the essence that's in this world, the energy that is communicating with us in this world is so much greater than we have any concept of. So to be of that earth energy and to be born of that earth energy, we return to that earth, earth energy and create love in all aspects. Come on up to your hands and knees. Stretch your right leg behind you, your left arm in front of you. Feel the power of not only extending, but contracting. Feel the power of pulling that in and expressing it out. And then go ahead and swing your left arm around to hold your right ankle, if you can. If you can't, please stay where you are, loving yourself so much in that spot, that open space to receive. If you have your foot, kick your foot back into your hands to open that shoulder, pull your ribs up, pull your throat up. Beautiful, and remember when you release, you're still in it. So release slowly, mindfully, and then release down. Nice, Kristen, and please change sides. Oh, Allison, I just see I have a friend there. Hi, Pia Rose. <laughs> Reach back for that ankle when you're ready or stay right where you are. Beauty here is your breath. Do you swap sides so it's opposites? Yeah, that's gonna be easier. Great, yeah. Great. So remember you kick that thigh up, you spread those toes and then you give a little smile. Stop looking so serious. <laughs> Good, and then as you release, you release still longing to be in the pose. So you don't release and just give up. Downward facing dog. <laughs> Good thing that's over with. No. All right, forward to plank pose. Right hand holds you, Vashistasana. You could always take the first one we did where we drop the bottom knee. Left leg stacks on top of right or, or drop your bottom knee. Excellent. Yeah. Now take your left arm over your ear and take those ribs high to the sky. As if someone is just taking your left ribs and going, let me lift them to the sky. Take them high, take them high. Good, drop the left hand down to the floor, switch sides. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, nice, Kathy, release that down. Come all the way down to your belly and turn your cheek to the side. Nice, Jackie, Sue. 
So if you wanted to make this flower essence after you got the okay sign, you would take it with your hand gently or a clipping of a scissors and clip the leaf or the flower of your dandelion and then put it into spring water. Let it sit outside in the sunlight and absorb the sunlight. Remember, one of the things that Sita talks about in this gorgeous book is that we are strong and stronger than the sun, Surya. Can you imagine? Place it in the sunlight. And then when you're ready to drink this water, you place the stems or the flower buds back to the earth with great gratitude. It's often suggested you give a gift to the plant that you took from, you, and that gift can be a song. It has to be something that's meaningful to you, maybe a little piece of your hair, maybe a crystal. But come on up to your forearms, please. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Seek out here the power of your legs. So squeeze your legs together, elbows underneath your shoulders. Sphinx pose, Lena. There we go. Just pause here. Drag your hands down and pull them as if you're pulling your chest through your arms, but then pull your navel in and relax your shoulders. <laughs> what? Tuck your back toes under. Lift your knees, lift your butt. Stronger than I think, more powerful than I can imagine. That's why every now and then we drop the mind so we feel. And then come on down, make a little pillow with your hands and rest. Breathe into your back body. This body has a lot to say. Let ourselves free. We must open ourselves to the love that is born in every particle of creation. Press back into child's pose. Just take a breath there for a moment and then take it up into downward facing dog. Beautiful, everybody. Stepping your right foot forward, open to Virabhadrasana two. Same way in high lunge, we bend the back knee, bend the back knee here and just let the pelvis sink down. Just release, release, release. Release. And then straighten that back leg, but keep the front knee bent and take your right forearm onto your right thigh and your left arm over your ear, side angle. Be aware of that top arm that it doesn't bend. Try to keep that energy slow. Beautiful energy flow of a straight arm. And then draw that armpit in and extend out through those fingertips. Good, come forward into half moon pose. So you might wanna block underneath your right hand. Lean deeply into that right hand so you can get as much spinal length as you possibly can. So really lean into that right hand. And then maybe reach back for that ankle, maybe stay where you are. Beautiful, Heidi. Now kick that foot if you're holding it back into your hand. If you're not holding it, just squeeze those legs together. And then step back into triangle pose, Trikonasana, triangle. And imagine your triangle without pressing your ribs forward, but pulling yourself into yourself squeeze in and you might even tuck your chin for a minute just to feel that sense of 
uh, compassion for yourself, love for yourself, and then you can explode out, then you can open up. Just for a moment, close your eyes. Seek that which lies within you first. Nice rise. Open your eyes, downward facing dog. Vinyasa of choice. None at all. That's a choice. It's a good one. <clears throat> Left foot steps forward, VR2. Bend the back knee. And, and literally, literally go into your pelvis and just say, relax, please relax, relax. You work too hard. You hold too much of the energy, of the earth energy, of the struggle energy. Let go, relax. And then straightening that back leg, but let your left forearm come onto your left thigh, your right arm over your ear. Left forearm, yeah, there you go. Push into that thigh to release your left ribs away from your left thigh. So use that resistance. Beautiful, Jackie. And then take it forward, please, into half moon. Nice, Lisa. Carla, beautiful. Yeah. Maybe reach back for that ankle if you'd like, or stay right where you are. And then step it back to triangle pose. The more of yourself is always ready to reveal. So never worry that you miss the opportunity. You don't have to go further than your body is asking you to go today because that opportunity to see the more of yourself is always there. You never lose out. It just gets more and more exciting. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Touch down, downward facing dog. Walker, jump to squat, please. Just be. If you need a blanket underneath your heels. Relax here, relax. Squeeze the shins, widen the inner thighs here. Hands to the floor, standing forward, Ben. Open and close your mouth, release your jaw. The alchemy of your life is called magical transformation and it only happens by interaction with others, with events, with nature, with animals. Hands on your hips, push down through your legs, rise up to stand. Let your arms just drop alongside the body, close your eyes for a moment. Every cell of the body. They too are in conversation. But then that conversation gets a little bit muddled because it gets confused because toxins move through our body. And trust me, toxins move through even the healthiest person's body. It has to. So the cell conversation gets confused. So breathe deep to start to initiate some more conversation. 
some rich conversation, some prana rich conversation. Beautiful joy. And then let your eyes open, hug your left knee into your chest. So when your body is in ultimate communication, your mind is clear. And come into tree pose, please. Rikshasana, either below or above the knee. Hands to your heart center. Closing your eyes. Can you believe it? I'm asking you to close your eyes here. And then as you open your eyes, make them be soft. And then explode those arms in any direction. And bringing the hands back to the heart center, release the foot down. Let's try the second side. Remember that conversation between your foot and the thigh, or your foot and the shin. Let them connect so sweetly that one is not more pushy than the other. Hands at your heart center, it's called Anjali Mudra, and then close your eyes. From the inner gaze, open the eyes and explode the arms. As you release the foot down, sit back into chair, bend your knees a lot. Bring your hands to your heart center and prayer twist to the right, left elbow hooks. Look down to the floor, keep the hook of the elbow, take your left foot off the floor and send it back for Vera three. So it's a twisting Vera Vajrasana three. Don't think about it. Good job, come back up to center and bow forward. If you use your mind to do it, you'll say, I can't. If you let your body do it, you'll say, I'll try. And even if you fall, wow, you explode with, I tried. Good, try again, bend your knees, reach up into chair, hands at your heart center, prayer twist. I don't say that like if you're jumping out of an airplane, you know, mm -hmm. I'm just saying here very simply, you're not going to hurt yourself. So why not try look down at the floor, squeeze the elbow and the knee and then lift the right foot out, send it back behind you. The trick here is to keep squeezing the legs energetically toward each other. Nice. And then bring that leg back up to center and bow forward. Amazing. Amazing. Nice, Mark. Amazing. Turn your feet wide again, sit back into squat. Just take a breath here. If anyone wants to go into crow pose, you're balancing crow, feel free to place your hands on the floor, squeeze your knees up into the upper armpit. Let your legs come off, your feet come off the floor. All right, Kim, go Kim, go Kim. Good Jackie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then good Kristen, as you're ready, Robin, beautiful as you're ready, lie on your back, hug your knees into your chest. <laughs> lie on your back, hug your knees into your chest. Any of you who do work with green medicine, you know the flower essence has much more of a distillation process. So that's just process number one of it, which is just as powerful to drink that water. What that means is just receiving the essence, the medicinal essence, the loving essence. Okay, take your legs straight up to the sky, please. Take your arms out to letter T, palms face down. 
Root your shoulders down, root your head down, lift your heart. So the heart lifts, the ribs soften. Flex your feet and then start to bring. I've been playing with this a lot. I know you might be bored with it, but it's good for you. Take your legs out to letter V. And then squeeze the legs in nice and slow. Pull from the inner groin, pull in slow. Take your right leg down toward the floor. So a letter L, hover. Bring that leg back up. Wait till it reaches the top and then take your left down, letter L, hover. Bring that leg back up and then bring your right knee on top of your left knee, bend your knees. Squeeze your shins toward each other, pull your knees into your navel. Keep your arms out, keep your chest lifted, squeeze your shins, navel in, sit bones wide, 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 wide. Now pull your shins apart from each other, widen them. Now take your legs back up to the sky and take your left knee on top of your right knee. Pull your knees in towards your navel, squeeze your shins, squeeze your shins. Don't take this in your neck, don't take it in your jaw. And then pull your shins apart from each other. Pull apart, pull apart. Take your legs back up to the sky, straight up. And then bend your knees, come into happy baby pose. Good, place your right ankle on top of your left knee, right ankle, left knee, pull your left knee into your chest, flex both feet. You might even let your mouth slightly open so the breath can move evenly through the nose and the mouth, which is not common in our practice, right? But I notice every now and then if I do that, I'll see that I'm clenching my jaw or maybe holding my teeth a little too tight. And then I can go back to letting my lips close and my nose breathe. Good, lift your head up and reach for your left foot, keeping the knee bent. So just lift your head up, ankle to knee still, and just reach for that foot. Reach, reach, reach. Yes, yes, you got it. Lower your head back down and change ankle to knee, other side. Flexing the foot, both feet, pull in. Beautiful, lift your head up and reach for that foot. Curl that navel in. Good, lower down. Now have your feet go wide as if you were in a frog. So your legs stay up, your knees are bent. And it's almost like a happy baby, but you're not holding the feet. Good, and then clasp your hands together, point your finger reaches up and then reach your arms through that frog, reach up. Keep squeezing those legs as if you were standing. And lower your head, hug your knees into your chest. Okay, one more crazy like that. Last one, take your legs straight up to the sky. Take your arms out to letter T, palms face down. So this is that little trick that we've done often where that we put a little strap underneath your rib cage 
And if I was to come over and hold the right side of your strap, as you take your legs uh, slightly to your left, I want you to keep your right ribs down like crazy. So if I tried to pull that strap, you wouldn't allow me to pull it out. So both legs are together. They're coming slightly to the left and the right rib cage is so glued to the floor. If you had a strap, I could not pull it out. Good, bring the legs back up to center. Take them slightly to the right. The left ribs, they anchor into the floor. This is middle back strength. Keep it down, keep it down. Come back to center. One more time to the left. Right ribs stay down. One more time to the right. Little movement, super little. Come back to center, hug your knees into your chest. Yikes. <laughs> Plant your feet on the floor, constructive rest pose. Just take a couple of moments and breathe deeply. Let yourself breathe in a way that you inhale and your belly expands. You exhale, it's almost as if your skin disappears, it becomes so translucent. Such a sweet space to be where you inhale, you feel your own individual uniqueness and you exhale and you feel the uniqueness of all beings, all animals, all plants, all nature. Good. You can stay here if this feels really good or come into bridge. So we'll take our a second back then because we were doing covert. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. So make sure you root down those shoulders. Nice to take the ribs down and lift the chest and have that wonderful conversation between ribs softening, heart lifting, and then take those hips up. Maybe clasp your hands underneath you, maybe stay exactly where you are. Most important to breathe here. As you feel ready, you can release back down, bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees drop wide. And again, back to that belly breathing. had this hysterical moment uh, last summer, I guess it was, when one of my neighbors drove up next to me while I was in my front yard uh, cultivating some of the mint and the mugwort. And she said, great day to weed. And I go, it's not a weed. <laughs> I swear I scared the shit out of her. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to be so <laughs> protective of my children. <laughs> so anyway, that brought on this idea I'm going to do, and I haven't, it'll happen soon. I'm going to do a series called It's Not a Weed. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to take whoever wants to join me on a little trip of going and seeing what is out there medicinally and then making it into pestos and different sauces and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the first part of it is it's not a weed. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. So I'm going to give you an opportunity to stay here and breathe deeply or take it into an inversion. So maybe you want to take a shoulder stand, maybe you want to take a headstand, handstand, form balance, legs up the wall.
Wherever you choose to be, breathe deeply. Enjoy your breath. Keep breathing. Beauty of the teachings of Sita is everything she does is on purpose, with purpose, for the greater purpose. So that when you read her story in the Ramayana, you get all annoyed because Gosh, she did everything for everyone and she still suffers. That is not a true statement. She did what she did to serve a higher purpose. Therefore, there's no suffering. Is there emotion? Yes. Is there moments things suck? Yes. But she's not a victim and we're not a victim. One more minute here. If you're seated, just allow yourself to drop into a little meditation. We will be doing a couple more forward bends to finish the practice. Come slowly out of whatever inversion you've chosen. If there's anything that you'd like to do before the inversion, I'm sorry, before the forward bend, feel free to do that. I wonder who could guess my favorite forward bend. <laughs> I just went like this. I scanned. <laughs> Nobody knows, huh? All right, Janu Shashasana. So stretch your legs out in front of you. Seated forward bend, I should say. It's fine. Yeah, it's powerful <laughs> if you let it be. Bend your right knee. Let your right knee fall out to the side. Maybe sit up on a blanket if it feels necessary. Pull those left toes up so that the, the whole left leg is anchored to the floor for you. And then twist gently over that leg and fall forward. And allow that deep bow to just penetrate deep inside of you. So again, the cellular energy that you're working with here is awakening by your breath and your awareness and your love.
And draw the navel in, slowly rise back up and pause to feel. Change sides, please. Go slow. Enjoy your breath. Nice. And rise up. Find a comfortable cross-legged seat, please. You can either take Yana Mudra, thumb and first finger, maybe Surya Mudra, thumb and ring finger. Up down to your knees, close your eyes, and just do a silent meditation. Just keep listening. Just for the last minute here, beam, healing light on Christian, little baby boy. For all the little babies who need our extra love and support. And please come down onto your back. 
Hug your knees into your chest. Keep your right knee extended in, extend your left leg back down to the floor. Spinal twist, please. Draw that back up and change to the other side. back to center, please relax.
And just so gently begin to deepen your breath. Your body begin to stretch and yawn in any way that serves you well. If you're lying on your back, hug your knees into your chest, roll to your right side, come on up to sit. Bring your hands to your heart center. Chant Om Shanti 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 one time. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Letting your hands to the space between the eyebrows. Om peace, peace, peace. Namaste, everybody. Thank Namaste. you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a beautiful day. Make it great. Happy Easter, everyone who celebrates.